go to university if you want a better job. That's one of the messages from a Queensland job summit, which has heard the state has the country's second lowest number of university graduates. A prominent economist says the state's economy is moving towards high-skilled, high-paid service industries. George Roberts has more. Starting early. Does anyone like reading? Who likes reading? Not everyone, apparently. The government says about 2% of grade 11 and 12 students don't study English, but 98% isn't enough. We believe that fundamentally that English should be compulsory in year 11 and 12. The education minister's looking at doing just that. But it's not just English that's the problem. A job summit's heard that just 20% of Queenslanders have uni degrees, the second worst rate in the country. I think improved levels of educational participation and attainment are the single biggest factor that can contribute both to higher levels of employment participation and to higher levels of productivity. More than 21,000 jobs have been shed from Queensland's resources sector in just a couple of years. Queensland's now less reliant on mining jobs than the national average, with mining accounting for less than 10% of the state's jobs. The mining industry has peaked in terms of its contribution to economic activity and to employment growth. And that's what the summit's heard today, is that four out of five jobs in the future in Queensland will come from the services sector. The Australia Institute believes the importance of mining projects like the proposed $21 billion Carmichael mine is wildly overblown. There will only be 1,400 direct and indirect jobs created from that mine. That is the way that resources projects uh, work, uh, so there's very little surprise there. As the state's economy changes, Saul Leslake expects higher skilled services like healthcare and science are where the jobs of the future will be, and teaching the next generation of workers is expected to be a growth area too. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.